Diabloceratops and Triceratops are Ceratopsians. More specifically, in a family called Ceratopsidae. Here we've got a giant circle of ceratopsians. Inside that circle, we have ceratopsids. So all ceratopsids are ceratopsians, but not all ceratopsians are ceratopsids, like squares and rectangles, that whole thing. Ceratopsids are obviously known for their big horns and frills. Some early ceratopsians didn't look like that at all, like Cetacosaurus. What the fuck is this? Horned faces, but no frills. Ixnay on the frills, not there yet. The frills and the much larger facial horns evolved over time. One key transitional fossil is Zuniceratops, alive about 92 million years ago. It had two horns above its eyes, no nose horn, and a very simple, modest frill, sort of an evolutionary halfway point. So this was a Ceratopsian, but not a Ceratopsid. So Zuniceratops was here, not here. Yet. Then, ceratopsids came along and split into two main groups, chasmosaurians. They had very long skulls, big brow horns, moderately decorated frills. Personally, Chasmosaurus from 83 million years ago makes me a little sick. Actually, maybe I like them. But this lineage would eventually include the famous Triceratops. Also included Cosmoceratops. Weird as fuck. 